Alrighty, now we're ready to start the actual automation. So let me show you how to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do really is just open uh, Google homepage, which is this URL, and I'm gonna perform some search, um, some weird search. So when I do that, I expect to see this 10 results on the first page. Basically, that's my test case. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing I, I need to do is right click uh, on a features folder and create a new file. I'm gonna give it a name as um, Google search and it has to be a feature extension. So Google search dot feature. Once it's done, um, let's, uh, it turned green. So yeah, it's cucumber. So it's green. So we need to start, uh, we need to give it uh, a name first. So we should do feature, feature name is gonna be just a Google search, feature description. I don't really need that, but what I need instead is scenario. And for a scenario, what I'm gonna do is just, um, uh, results are displayed 10 times for a valid search like this. Uh, so now we need to start with a precondition and for precondition, uh, it's a given. So given step, and then this is our step now, which is in my case is going to be, I open the URL and then just a slash like this. So yeah, as you can see, it's existing uh, step. So this is the binding. Somehow it didn't show up for the first time but anyway, so instead of, since we already have Google um, URL in our configuration, I can just do a slash, uh, but you can also do like HTTPS, google.com or any other website that you need to do. Just I just like this convenience of not having uh, that full URL. So, okay, open the URL. The next step we need to, uh, it's going to be when step. Um, okay, this time it's working fine. Uh, and the step is I set uh, I set something to the input field. So which is uh, this one. So we can we just need to delete those extras and here, we're gonna do basically just uh, our search query in the input field. Okay, now we need to actually figure out um, a locator for that, So, which is this field. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and, and select inspect. And in here, this is the, our input box. As you can see on the right side, it gets highlighted. Um, so what's unique about this uh, element, it's a lot of attributes, uh, probably name is unique. I mean, technically speaking, it has to be unique uh, from HTML standpoint, but uh, let's actually see. So I click Control F and as you can see here on the bottom, uh, there is a special search box, which is very handy. So we can just really um, 
write that CSS locator there. And uh, yeah, I chose one of one, only one match. Um, so I'm, which is perfect for us. The only thing I'm gonna do is just replace uh, double quotation with a single, single quotation. And as you can see, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so plug that in here. And then the next one, we just need to submit that. I can just say I press um, and the same thing here. Just need to say enter. That will just hit enter keyboard key on the keyboard. Instead, what you can do, you can find the locator of like Google search uh, this button and just click it. It's pretty much similar, but anyways, okay, we did that. Assuming it's going to work fine. Let me go to the next page. So now we need to find this locator so we can use uh, the next word. So we use when, which is action. Now we need to switch to then, which is really an assertion or comparison between the actual and expected result. So um, what I'm gonna do here, um, just to validate that it appears 10 times. So I expect that element is not, okay, that's not the one. So let me see which one are we looking for. Okay, this is the one. So then expect element does not appear exactly times. Perfect. So here we should figure out, okay, here we need to figure out a locator first. So the same thing, right click inspect element. And um, okay, this one looks, Looks like that we can use H3 um, tag here. So let me try to type that out. So if you search by H3, okay, it's not doing the actual CSS. So it's searching as a text, which is not really what we want. So let me switch this to um, XPath real quick. Okay, so now we got 11 entries. And um, okay, I can just really click them through and make sure that, okay, the last one is actually this one, which is not the actual result, search result. So I really wanna exclude that. Um, and the way I'm gonna do it, so let's see the previous one. So there was H3, but then we had this div class R, div class RC, which is some kind of the container for the whole uh, result that includes the title, URL, and the description over there. Um, so yeah, let me try to do that. So what I'm gonna do here now, just do dot RC, that's the class, okay. It's searching by text again, um, that's fine. Probably if I just add H3 here, then, okay, 10 results, here we go. Perfect. So, and the reason, you can ask me like, hey, why wouldn't you use this class here? Should be unique. But when I see something like this, LC20 LB, it looks like to me that it's uh, dynamic, so it's going to be changed pretty soon, pro pretty much with the next build or so. Um, so I just don't wanna take that risk, this particular case. Um, so yeah, I think I can just copy this over to Visual Studio Code, paste it here, and then expect that element does, so we don't need not here appear exactly, and this is how many times, and we know um, it has to be 10 times. All right, so um, I just uh, saved the file. So what I need to do, just go to terminal, new terminal, um, it's set to CMD, perfect. So I'm just gonna do run here, and in a second or two, let's see what's going to happen.
Okay, this is the browser. So we got the browser, it goes to google.com, enters and voila. So yeah, Google search, all four steps passed. Took us 22 seconds. Well, uh, to me, it's not enough. I mean, if it passes, then uh, it sounds too suspicious to me. It looks too suspicious to me actually. So I don't trust it. So I really wanna make sure that it can fail. So to do so, I'm gonna change this to 11. So and my expectation that it will fail on assertion right there, because in reality it's gonna be 10, but since we say uh, said that to 11, not gonna match. So let me run it one more time. Don't forget to save, which is Control S or File Save. Otherwise, it will run the previous version of the feature. Um, so it's not what you see here. All righty. So yeah, it takes a few seconds every time. Okay, the browser pops up, goes to. goes to Google searches and boom. Yeah, indeed you can see that it, it failed because it appeared 11 times, but we expected it to be 10 times. Perfect. That's it. Now you keep, um, can just keep going. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, do a parallel execution, which is something amazing and makes your framework really, really shining. All right, see you.